Hey yo guys, it is me, Happy Sawyer, and welcome back to Last Center Survival. So today we're gonna be doing seven raids because last time we've done six raids, so why not kick it up a notch? So first things first, let's check the truck here. And I've done zero research on this base. I have no idea what I'm raiding and we still have six extra bases waiting for us because as I said, if the previous video is gonna hit 3,000 likes, I'm gonna do seven raids and that video definitely has hit 3,000 likes. I'm probably gonna use the C4 over here on the door, which... Nah, I'm not gonna use the C4 on the door. I don't like it. I'll use the C4 somewhere over here, which is probably even a worse idea. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I shouldn't have placed the C4 over there. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, it's good. It's actually good. Everything's all right. And there's a room in the middle. Do I waste a C4 for it? Do I see a chest inside of it? I don't even see any chest there. We still have six raids ahead of us, so let's not waste all of the C4s. And yeah, when I get closer to this place, I can hear a CP radio. So that's it. Probably he only has a CP radio there. Maybe one chest. And if I don't get anything good inside of these chests, I might waste that one more C4, but... I really doubt it. So let's start opening up these small chests. Kind of weird. This guy didn't have a single good chest. All of these chests are just lame small boxes. So that's kind of weird. Whatever. Let's deal with this wave of zombies. And you know what? If this video is going to hit 3,500 likes, I'm going to do eight raids next time. <laughs> so yeah, smash that like button on the video if you want to see eight raids next time. But hey, let's not think about the future. Let's actually do seven raids this time because it's going to be pretty tough. I don't even know how it's going to be possible to do eight raids in one video. But whatever. Let's continue with this raid. Oh, wow, another wave of so this is probably a second wave now and here we got just hammers I'm not sure if I shown everything inside of these chests But so far it's just bad this chest is empty this chest is empty and here We've got a nothing valuable besides like a couple of patches and I'm gonna change those patches into bandages And then just look at this inside of this chest. We've gotten something We've gotten something really really good and I usually don't do any research on this basis I like to go and raid them without any information. And for those who didn't know how to do research on the bases, just go on YouTube and type LDOE raid player one, two, three, four, or whatever base that you're raiding. And if somebody has uploaded a video on that base, you'll be able to get some information. But as I said, I usually don't do any research unless it's a super, super big base then it's kind of worth it to go and research a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna get stack of duct tape. And so far, this isn't super exciting. This isn't super exciting. Okay, here we're gonna get more gasoline and probably another wave of zombies has spawned here because yeah, we've done like 70 something noise. And so far, I don't see them. Why not? Oh, maybe, oh no, here we go. Here they are. Here they are. So I think I'll open up only this one extra chest. And after that, I'll damage the rest of the chests and this way I'll be able to open up all of the chests before the big one spawns and I'm losing my armor Okay, so that's not good at all. That's not good at all I should have maybe brought new armor or maybe I can even open up this chest before I damage the other ones Yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be good here. I'm gonna get some planks a little bit of iron So do I have the hatchets? Oh, no, I have only these good hatchets. Okay, so I'm gonna do two hits to this chest I will do two hits to this chest and let's open it up. So inside of this chest we got nothing valuable and inside of this chest, we got a little bit of oak. This is nice. Okay, so you know what? This oak and this gasoline and a little bit of first aid kit. So this base gets Sykes approval. It's not that bad. So now welcome guys to the raid number two. Once again, I've done zero research on this base. So yeah, let's hope for the best. And okay, so it doesn't really look like a massive base. I think I'm going to use one level to hatches to open up this door. And then I'll see if I have to waste my C4s. Probably I do. You probably always have to waste your C4s. Once again, this base doesn't even have a CP radio. So those bases are always sad. Oh yeah, I need I do need to waste my C4 everywhere. Everywhere it looks like. Well, at least it looks like it. So I'm going to place a C4 over here up the very top. Maybe it's going to be all right. And if I'll have enough noise, I'll maybe open up another room over here. But from how it looks like, we'll probably just open up that room and there's going to be nothing inside of it. But you know what? We might check it out. Whatever. Let's deal with this floater bloater. And I am going to go and waste this hatchet now. Let's see if it was worth it or it was useless. And here we are going to get... Oh, there is one chest, actually. There is one chest. So here I'm going to place... Probably another C4. Whatever, let's do it. We should still have lots of C4s from those uh, from the season 12 where we opened up lots of and lots of crates. So here we go. Let's deal with those guys. I'm probably gonna deal with them because yeah, the the game starts lagging a little bit, especially when the second wave spawns at the same time. It's gonna lag a lot more. And I don't have any extra C4s here. Okay. So I should be calm. We're not gonna explode any walls accidentally. Okay, so it looks like all the zombies from the second wave are dead. So let's open up a couple of chests here. I'm gonna open up maybe one chest there and then I'll go to the very top. Unless I get something nice here. Wait, nothing. You know what? I'll open up one extra chest and then I'll go to the very, very top. Here, nothing once again. Maybe I should do some research, huh? Maybe I should. Okay, so let's go to the top and let's open up a couple of chests here. So I exploded, got nothing. Yikes. And inside of this chest, we're gonna get nothing now. I'll probably do some research. Okay, so I don't really remember the name of this base. And from the research that I've done, this base doesn't even look the same. So I think we're just gonna YOLO it. 
Uh, I'll try to open up a couple of chests here. Nothing. Oh, yeah, this base seems really bad. Like, really, really bad. I'll try to open up all the chests from the very top, and then I'll try to troll the big one on the very down, as there's that chest, so he'll keep respawning and spawning back. So I still have a couple of hatchets, so I'm gonna do some damage. Oh, no, here we go. Let's do three hits. One, two... Three hits to this chest. So I've done three hits to this chest. And we're gonna do now... We're just gonna chop this chest fully now. Here we go. Let's do... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Yes, at least some food. At least something. I'm gonna take everything I can. Yes, a little bit of steel plate. Here we go. Nothing here. And here we're gonna get nothing. So at least something. I'm gonna activate the sprinting skill. Go, 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 schmuck. And you know what? Let's try to hop inside of here. So the big one... You know what? I'm gonna try to get to the wall. Here go the big one. Oh no, the big one's gonna spawn now. I oh, know the big one's coming after me. That is beautiful. Okay, so I'm not gonna let him go and attack me because I don't really want him to attack me. I think I can go over here, close to the wall. Just so he resets here, we're gonna get a little bit of this. And is that it? I think that's it. I think we've looted everything there is to loot. So besides only one more thing. Uh, no, I need to... Here we go, the big one's gonna come to me now. Yikes. I'm gonna chop this chest down. I want to open it up. I want to open that chest up. I want to open the chest up, baby. And here I'm gonna get nothing. Basically, a little bit of water. So I just want to escape this place. Oh, no! I might get stuck. I might get actually stuck here. Okay, activating the sprinting skill. Healing up again. And I escaped. So this base gets IX approval. I don't know why. Wait, did I get something good? It does not get Sarek's approval. <laughs> it was pretty bad, right? So now, guys, welcome to the raid number three. And I've done a little bit of research on this base. And it looks like it's going to be at least, like, half decent base. Okay, so first of all, let's loot the chopper. As I didn't even know this base has a chopper. Okay, so we could have gotten here lots of and lots of gasoline if you have empty bottles. But just as usual, I didn't bring any empty bottles. And this base requires one C4. Oh, I didn't bring it. Well, luckily, we have some C4s inside of the inbox. So let's take at least one C4. And let's go to the very, very top. And if I'm not mistaken, we have to place a C4 on a fifth wall here. So first wall, second wall, third wall, fourth, uh, fourth wall. And here we go, the fifth wall. So I'm going to chop down this... A door over here. It's not a door. It's just a wall. Let's chop this door down and here I'm gonna place No, no, wait. Why aren't you doing here? We go. Let's place that C4 and uh, It should work. So this base isn't gonna have lots of and lots of chests I do know that you can chop down lots of doors lots of walls and it's just gonna be like a huge honeycomb but just inside of the first chest, we're gonna get a couple of guns and that's it. Other than that, I don't know what we're gonna get inside of this base. I just saw that this is like the best loot and that's it. That's all I need to know. We're gonna check out the loot together, me and you. So, inside of here, we're gonna get more duct tape. Yeah, I'm gonna take more duct tape, I'm gonna take more leather. And I think I'm also gonna take more thick cloth because it looks like I started running out of thick cloth little by little. Because I'm crafting a lot more tactical armors because raiders require me to craft those tactical armors to go for the raid. So I kind of ran out of them. And I'm also gonna bring more iron plates and nails because I'm kind of running out of that stuff too. So, so far, you know what? Not super amazing raid, but not bad. Look at this! We're gonna get lots of and lots of iron. Back in the days, I would just completely flip out of that if I saw it because back in the days, I didn't have lots of and lots of iron. So every time I would get lots of iron from the raid, my mind would just explode. But we kind of have lots of it, except that I still need to process it into iron plates or nails. But that takes more time. So I like just taking iron plates and nails. Here we're going to get more planks, which would be really, really nice. But again, we have lots of planks. Uh, not now. I think maybe after like a month or something, I'll start taking more planks when I will run out of planks in my base. So here we're gonna get some aluminum plates and three heat sensors. I'm gonna exchange them for some wood. And you know what? This was a pretty decent base. All right, base. Like, we've gotten lots of iron, even though I don't really need it myself. But this base gets IX approval. Like, almost every player who would get such a base, they would be happy. Like, so much iron is... Mwah. So, before we go to the raid number four, let's actually go and deal with the witch really, really quickly. As that's one of the tasks that raiders wanted me to do now. So, let's just do it. I brought with me a spread shot, so that seriously shouldn't take much time. Here goes, she started screaming. Gonna take the spread shot. We have the sprinting skill. I think I'm gonna deal with the diseased wolf, as they do lots of damage. Here we go, lots of and lots of crawlers started spawning in. I'm not gonna wait, I'm not gonna heal up yet. Uh, here we go, lots of them just gathered. Gonna go to the very top. More to the top, and now spread shot did that? Oh no, I still didn't get lots of... I mean, eh, at least I got like maybe 60-70% of them. So, with the rest, I'm just gonna deal. Here we go with my Glock. I still have lots of armor here, so that shouldn't be big of a deal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I should have probably waited. I should have done a little bit of a circle to gather them and then spread shot all of them at the same time. Wasted a little bit of that spread shot, but again, 
Not that big of a deal. Gonna heal up fully because the witch can do probably like 70 damage while I'm with this set. And I don't appreciate that. Maybe I could have used the C4, but again, we're doing lots of raids right now. So I need to save those C4s. Because you can kill the witch a lot easier if you're gonna use your two C4s and explode those two blobs. And again, some people don't know this. And I said that so many times already, but... If you're gonna explode those blobs, those blobs are gonna respawn. And if they don't respawn for you, that's actually a glitch. And developers suggest you to text them so that they would respawn those blobs back for you. But, like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you text developers to make the game harder, you know? <laughs> but, hey, that's not how it's supposed to be. I exploded those blobs in the past and they respawned for me. So, if blobs don't respawn for you, that means it's bad as they should respawn. Uh, so, yeah, that's for those who didn't know. So, that's really good. If they didn't respawn for you, that's nice. It's as it's a lot easier for you. You don't have to explode those blobs ever again. But for most of the players, they do respawn. And if they didn't respawn, that's a glitch then for you. And that's a good, that's good, good, good. Okay, so we got to go around it. Healing up a spread shot. We killed most of them. That was a pretty nice, juicy spread shot. We didn't kill all of them, though. That's side. Oh, no, my armor. But that's probably the last wave of those zombies. And then we'll have to just fight with the witch. So I got to be kind of careful. I gotta be kind of careful. Okay, so let's deal with them. Stupid crawlers. Stupid crawlers. Okay, let's deal with these crowd zombies. Stupid crowd zombies as well. Not gonna lie. Okay, so the witch is probably gonna come at me. Here we go. The witch is coming. The witch is coming. I'm gonna heal up. Yeah, whatever. Let's use that first aid kit. Let's not risk it. As last time I was able to fight the witch without any clothes at all. I didn't have any armor. And we still survived. And here we have like a bit more armor, but whatever. I wanna heal up fully. I don't wanna die right now. Because we still have lots of raids to do. And I wasted so many weapons on this witch here already. That would be shameful if I died. So here go, my Glock is gonna break right now. And I'm gonna finish her off with my shotgun. Here go, another shot, another shot, and another shot. Did she drop anything? Nothing. Completely nothing. So welcome guys to the raid number four. I've done a little bit of research on this base. And if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna get like super, super sick stuff in this base. Okay, so hopefully I play the C4 in the right place. And uh, yes, I think I did. And hopefully this is the same base that I've seen on YouTube. Because if it's not, then I'm going to be really sad. Because from this base, we are supposed to get like insane amount of weapons. So let's drop back the C4 inside of my chopper. And let's check his uh, old pickup truck. Okay, old pickup truck is completely empty. And this is one of the first bases that I've seen where he has ha where the person is going to have lots of and lots of doors instead of walls. Usually no one crafts those walls. And it's not really that efficient as these walls are a bit more expensive than just building walls. And it seems like a different base that I've seen. I feel bamboozled right now. I honestly feel bamboozled. Wait, I'll get outside. Maybe this base has, like, two bases, you know? Oh, yes, that's probably... That's the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has two bases. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right thing. I exploded the wrong wall. I am stupid. I've done research, and yet I didn't do the research properly. Whatever, we wasted that C4. Doesn't matter. We don't even need to open up a bunch of and bunch of chests there. All I need is just to open up there one, one chest. So I'm gonna play the C4 over here, and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that this is the right base because I'm still not 100% sure. I'm still not 100% sure. Maybe this is the right base. All I know is that if in this chest, we are gonna get a bunch of and bunch of Glocks. This is the right base. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all the amount of weapons that we've got in here. Just sick. Just literally 100% sick. Okay, so let's deal with this wave of zombies. And then I don't even know. Maybe I'll do even more research on it. Because I didn't expect that I'll make so much noise. As I didn't expect that I'll have to explode two walls. So I didn't check what we're gonna get inside of the other chests. I thought that we'll just figure it out ourselves. But right now I've done way too much noise. So I think I'll just do more research. Well, I've done five second extra research. And it looks like I need to open up one of those chests. And I'm gonna get bunch of and bunch of SWAT armor. Oh uh, no, it's the wrong chest. And probably chest over here. Please tell me this is the right chest. Or maybe it's even a bit, a bit different, baby. Because... Sometimes base has changed, but now we're still gonna get a bunch of SWAT armor here. <laughs> this is awesome. You rarely get great raids. And hey, this time I was very lucky to get it. So I think I'm gonna get a bunch of shoes because, again, shoes are very important. So I'm gonna get as much armor as possible. And the rest of the inventory is gonna be filled with shoes. Because for those who don't know, using shoes in your police department is really worth it. Plus, I mean, getting shoes for your bunker Bravo is kind of fun as well if you don't have full tactical armor. I mean, SWAT armor. You can just mix your tactical armor with SWAT shoes and it's gonna be perfect. So I don't have lots of space already. I'm just gonna equip this set and that's it. Then I'm gonna take another one. Not big of a deal. We have lots of stuff. I won't be able to bring all the SWAT armor back to the base here anyways. So let's open up the rest of the chests. I'm not really sure if I'll be able to open up all of them, but doesn't matter. We've already gotten lots of great stuff here. 
So, wow, we've got an Ascar here. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to drop this stuff. I'm going to get more uh, of the thing. Is maybe we could even die and spawn back at the base to bring more stuff. Probably that's what we will do. Okay, so I'm going to open up another chest. And uh, I'm going to kill all the zombies besides one. Then I'll die. Wait, actually, you know what? I don't have lots of space in the base anyways. I won't be able to put that SWAT armor because I have already one... I have already, like, two trunks of armor. Yeah, I won't be able to fit all of that anyway. So what's the point <laughs> that I'll die and bring that one extra armor? Whatever. Let's open up the rest of the chests. Here we got nothing inside of this chest. We're gonna get a little bit of jerk again. I could bring that, but I don't have much space in the base to store this. We need to go to the swamp location to upgrade my trunks because we need more ash trees. Okay, so I'm gonna get two, two hits over here. Two hits over here. Probably I'll damage more of these chests just to see, just in case if this dude is gonna have some first aid kits. But I really, really doubt that. I don't think he has any first aid kits. Okay, so I'm gonna chop this down. I'm gonna take another weapon. And I think right now I'll switch back to a different SWAT armor. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's take more boots. I think I will even take these boots for food. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or maybe no. Nah, I don't need these boots. I don't need these boots. Give me the food. Give me the food. <laughs> I think that's better. I think I'm gonna do two hits to this chest. I don't even know if I damaged all of these chests. Probably I have. Here we're gonna get nothing. Here we are gonna get some garbage. Here we're gonna get a bandage. Here we're gonna get nothing again. Another chest to damage. I mean, we got in the VSS there. I'd love to take it. So I'm gonna probably go outside. And what could I get rid of? What could I get rid of? Two hatchets for the VSS there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Which chest is it? Was this chest? Was it what was it this chest? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna die! We'll barely survive. I'm not sure what I took, but that's enough. I'm not gonna risk it ever again. It's fine, it's fine, it's good enough. I brought another weapon. So this base gets Sayak's approval. Seriously. Mwah, sick base. So now guys, welcome to the raid number four. Five. Yeah, this is raid number five. This is not raid number six yet. And I've done a little bit of research on this base. And I feel like I've kind of raided this base in the past, but I don't remember it. Like, I feel like I remember the name. And I forgot to sort out my chopper. Well, that's a stupid brain. That's a stupid brain. That's like a very minuscule, very, very small brain. So we are raiding the base named Godfather. And I feel like I've raided it in the past and pretty recently. But I don't remember where to go or what to do. I've still done research and everyone raids it differently. And it doesn't really look like there is like some sort of a very huge secret room. But there is a place where you can get lots of chests and you can get a little bit of steel. So that's where I'm going. So I'm going to drop my... Oh, I wanted to drop the C4 in the chopper or whatever. I'm just going to take another Glock then. And there's a chest. Wait, did I explode the chest? No, I did not explode the chest. But I'll try to destroy this chest. Maybe you get something worthy over here. And a little bit of rope, leather. I mean, I'm gonna take this thick cloth, some leather. Maybe a stack of rope, at least for now. I kind of need it. Oh, and I saw a stack of patches. Yeah, let's take those patches as well for some bandages. Okay, so I just accidentally destroyed that woodworking bench from the, behind the wall. That is annoying. That wasn't my intention. And again, so far it feels like this is kind of a lame base, but I do know that this guy's gonna have more chests. Can I go past it? Nope, we can't go past that chest. So let's deal with the wave of zombies. And we still have two extra raids to do. And to be honest, so far we've gotten like really, really nice raids. Like we didn't get any of those 3x3 stone bases. So you know what? So far, I'm really happy. Here we go. We're gonna get more of this and maybe a little bit of planks. Yeah, whatever. Let's get a little bit of those planks. As I came back to the base and I saw that I'm kind of running out of planks little by little. So why not take more? And inside of this chest, we're going to get literally nothing. Whoops, that's all I have to say. One big whoops. Well, I'm going to chop down one more door. And if I'm not mistaken, I mean behind this wall, yeah, we should get some more chests. So yeah, let's open up those chests too. And that's it. Other than that, I don't know where else can we get more chests. I think we've gotten like the best chest possible in this base. Unless I am wrong. And still, I don't remember. Are there like more Godfather bases? I don't get it, but I, I remember this name, Godfather. I'm pretty certain I've raided this base. And I'm sure you guys are going to tell me if I have raided it or not. Yes, let's get some stones because I don't have enough stones. And what I think when I look at these stones, it feels like somebody, you know, like crumbled the paper. And then they put like that crumbled paper texture on these stones. That's how they look like to me. Maybe I'm wrong. And here we're going to get a little bit of steel. I'm going to get stack of iron plates and I'm gonna get a little bit of aluminum and I'll just open up the rest of these chests before the big one spawns and that's it and then we're gonna skedaddle from this base so even though it's not that super amazing but it's not bad either I do know that there's a red ticket we're just not taking it okay so I'm gonna do three hits to this chest I am going to do three hits to this chest and there's another chest over here no another chest over here oh I opened them up oh so that's it so all I need is just to open up these two chests and that's it okay here go let's open it up and we're gonna get some food I don't need that other food 
And here we're gonna get nothing. Okay, so I'm activating sprinting skill just to be able to skedaddle from the base. Okay, so this base gets our approval because I was able to fill up my full inventory. So it's pretty all right. So welcome now to the raid number six. We still have one more raid to go and I've done like literally three second research. Maybe it was even shorter. So all I know is that I have to place a C4 over here and that's pretty much it. You can already see that this is not like 10 out of 10 base. Just judging by the wood here, by the stones and berries. But again, actually we shouldn't judge the book by its cover because who knows, maybe it's gonna be a pretty decent raid. Oh, we can't even loot like his truck. I'm not even gonna loot the truck because usually if you have to loot it with like that noise meter and whatever, that means inside you're just gonna get a cleaver and some other basic stuff. And uh, okay, so this guy's gonna have only a couple of chests. And okay, that's pretty much it. Wait, I wanna check his uh, ATV. Does he have anything inside of his ATV? And here he doesn't have, uh, I mean, he only has like 200 engine parts and that's it. Well, at least we'll be able to open up these chests without the big one spawning. So here we're gonna get a little bit of, no, no, I didn't mean to drop everything. What a stupid brain, what a stupid brain. Again, that's a big mess. That is a big mess. Now we need another revert button, uh, like reverse button. You just click on it and uh, your last action goes back. You can go back on your last action. That would be oh, perfect. But I'm probably just dreaming. Whatever, let's just drop back the stuff inside of the chest and let's continue with the raid that we got. I'm gonna take more planks and we have three extra chests to open up. I mean, if we're gonna get at least one gun, I'll be kind of happy with the raid. We got a little bit of gasoline, a little bit of food and 50 orange tickets. Let's take them even though I don't need them. Doesn't matter what I'll get from those orange tickets as I'll never open them up anyways, as we have like hundreds of those orange tickets at the base. We got a little bit of batteries. So you know what? This isn't such a bad base. It's kind of lame. It's kind of boring, but it's not completely bad. Even more turkey. So this base gets our ex approval. It's not that, oh no. I can't escape the base. Say so it was pretty nice. We've gotten some resources, even though it's pretty small, but I only had to use one C4 for it. So now guys, let's go to the raid number seven, the last uh, raid of the day. And I've done a little bit of research on this base. That's where all my research knowledge ends. All I know is that I have to place a C4 somewhere over here. We're gonna get a couple of great chests, but I have zero clue what we'll get inside of those chests, but I think it will be something nice. Okay, so I thought we'll get more chests, but okay. I mean, whatever, at least a couple of chests. I'm not sure what can we get inside of this base. Can I like at least use one axe? Yeah, let's use one axe to see if this base is gonna have more chests. I think it will, but I'm not sure if we'll get any good loot over there. I mean, it's not like this base has hundreds and hundreds of chests, so I think I'll be able to open all of them up even before the big one spawns. And I wanna get this green chest. Let's open it up. I always like opening up colored chests. And again, for those who didn't know how to color your chest, because I do know that some people don't know how to do that. So when you open up the chest, I mean, I can't do it. Wait, we're gonna chop this chest down. When you go over here on the very top here, you're gonna see an icon. You click on it and you'll be able to change the color of that chest. And here in this chest, we're gonna get a little bit of food. I'll definitely take it. And as of right now, I'm gonna go out and I'll open up other chests and then I'll open up the chest in that other room. Here I'm gonna get a little bit of thick cloth, a little bit of patches just so that we can craft even more bandages. Let's open this up. And honestly, I didn't even expect that we'll be able to do seven raids and eight raids are gonna be even more tough as there's just lots of and lots of raids. I'm gonna take probably all the paint as more skins are probably gonna be coming out and especially that season 13, there's like that reindeer skin. So I assume we'll require lots of and lots of red paint. So let's take all the paint possible, especially red one, as I do want to get that, as I do want to get like that pattern with the reindeer. And here we'll get a little bit of gasoline. That's beautiful. I'm never going to say no to gasoline. Electronic circuits, a little bit of aluminum. And I mean, three red tickets. I'll probably take them for, for, for nothing. You know what? Let's get back to my chopper real quick. Because this time I'm not stupid. I actually sorted out my chopper. I dropped all the unnecessary stuff. Wait. Here we go. Oh, I already opened up the pickup truck. I already got in that stuff. I'm an idiot. I forgot about it. So here inside of the chopper, I'll drop like a little bit of paint, a little bit of gasoline. I mean, my f my inventory is full of garbage. I just realized that, that I brought lots of and lots of garbage back to the base. At least I'm planning to bring it. And I know that it's kind of weird because the dude was able to place his turret on just on the ground without any floor. Same thing with his ATV. But there are lots of bases like this. Whatever. Now let's open up another chest. And I remember that there was something inside of the chest that I wanted to bring, but I forgot. I forgot what I wanted to bring. Nothing here. More chest. Wait, what I wanted to bring with me? Oh, engine parts, this, this, and red tickets. That I wanted 
that's what I wanted to bring with me. Yes, 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 for sure. Let's take that. And uh, yeah, as I said, we could bring more of those orange tickets, but I have a lot of them and I have a lot of green tickets. I don't need to bring any more as I won't open them up anyways. That's it. I won't be able to open them up. Oh, look at this. We got some more guns. I didn't know that that's possible. I didn't know that this base is going to have any weapons. Okay, so now let's deal with this way of Zymes. Probably we're going to use a snap transition because I haven't used it in 84 years. I literally probably used that snap transition like yesterday, but whatever. Let's say that it's been 84 years and now we need to open up two extra chests and that's it. We are done with this base. All right, the big one isn't even going to spawn. I like it. We got some water. I am going to take water. You might be like, psych, water? Yes, water. I need to bring that water with me. I need water for real. I'm going to get rid of this. Wait, we're going to bring more water after I chop this chest down. This way I'm going to get rid of that hatchet. And I need to bring more water as I don't have a rain catcher. As raiders keep destroying it, so I don't even place it at the base anymore. I'm gonna bring more water, baby. Yes, and I'm gonna take another stack of water. So this was a pretty all right base. So this base gets our approval. So as you know, we've put all the zombies to sleep and you can go to sleep yourself. If you're gonna get this epic go to sleep mug, link is down in the description. This is official Happy Cyric merch. You can also get there an epic shirt. You can also get their cool hoodie. Link is down in the description. And when you will receive your merch, make sure to tag me on Discord or Twitter or Instagram. Just thanks to all of those who already got the merch. So I highly suggest you checking out my Witcher 3 video or click on the second card and you'll go to my The Long Dark let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep